Hi guys, welcome to this updated video. A little late, but we're here now. So let's go ahead and talk about our main system, which we will be keeping our eyes on this week. Invest 98L, our Bruin, Tropical Storm, and Hurricane. So the formation chance is now at 90%, very high. Pretty likely that by tomorrow or Wednesday, the system will become a tropical storm and subsequently uh, with the favorable environmental conditions being persistent a hurricane and of course the greater antilles especially should be keeping watch for those impacts as we're going to be heading into uh, the end of this week through next week so let's go into the details Okay, so here on the weather satellite, we can see all of this shower and thunderstorm activity in association with the disturbance. It is bringing some rain and thunderstorms into southern Puerto Rico. Some of that may push a bit further north, even for the southern Virgin Islands as well. And especially towards the island of Bonaire going to Curacao. So the ABC Islands, as expected, are being influenced, uh, affected rather, influenced, affected by the system. The weather there is kind of uh, hostile at the moment with all of that heavy rain and thunderstorms. Let me know for sure what's been going on for you if you're in the ABC Islands. There was a lot of prayers going up for some rain since it's been so hot and so dry and now there is rain hopefully not too intense to do any damage especially in terms of flooding or anything like that and some of that rain also noted in sections of the lesser antilles nothing major and so it's pretty disorganized right now although conditions will be getting more favorable for development and one of those factors influencing that disorganization is those upper level winds winds higher up in the atmosphere which pretty much interferes with development so on this graphic we can also see that being depicted with those red lines the red lines are areas of those stronger or more unfavorable upper level winds meanwhile the yellows going to the green lines indicate areas where the upper level winds are not too intrusive but we're seeing that being pretty uh very much present in the vicinity of the disturbance right now but this system is going to be strengthening and it's a very complex one especially in relation to where it goes which is one of the main questions i've been getting a lot of comments from you is this coming to jamaica where is going to be impacted by the system jamaica is one of those islands that should be keeping very very close watch for the system because impacts will certainly be possible and hurricane impacts and to that now, this is what the National Hurricane Center has to say as of the update uh, tonight. So, a large area of showers and thunderstorms persists over the eastern Caribbean Sea to the east of a tropical wave. The system still appears to lack a closed surface circulation, but environmental conditions are soon forecast to become more conducive for development. A tropical depression or tropical storm is expected to form within the next day or two, while the system slows its forward motion over the central Caribbean Sea. Regardless of development, heavy rainfall and gusty winds are possible over portions of the ABC Islands during the next couple of days. Interests in Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, Jamaica, and Cuba should monitor the progress of this disturbance as there is a risk of heavy rain and flooding, strong winds, and rough surf later this week. For additional information on the system, including gale warnings, please visit high seas forecasts issued by the National Weather Service. We can see the formation chance 90% through both 7 and 2 days. Now, as it pertains to where the system could go, we have the Euro and GFS. Let's look at the uh, ensemble members for both of these, just to depict the high uncertainty that is ahead. Look at it for Euro. These are all over the place, guys. I mean, we have a cluster showing that we could see landfall in Haiti. We have quite a few for Jamaica, a couple towards Cuba, near the Cayman Islands as well, and then eventually towards the vicinity of the Bahamas, potentially near the Turks and Caicos Islands. So this shows just how unsure things are. And by the way, this goes through next Thursday, the 30th of October. GFS, on the other hand, wants to show that impacts will be occurring later this week, or potential landfall rather, will likely take place later this week. But this also goes through next Thursday. We can see that we have more uh, concentrated members here 
expecting landfall in Hispaniola of the system. We have quite a few taking the system closer to Jamaica and a few over Cuba. So again, very much uncertain. Now, with the rate of development of the system and also those pressure systems, I would be leaning more towards Euro with that later curve compared to GFS. And the system is likely to loiter a little bit. It's going to slow down as what we saw in that uh, update from the National Hurricane Center. It's going to be re uh, decreasing in its motion. It's going to slow down and it's going to be sitting over very warm waters as well. Anomalously warm waters. So the water temperatures in the Caribbean are much above average. We see 30, 31 degrees Celsius. Very, very warm waters to support rapid intensification, guys. And as I said, those water temperatures are warmer than normal, as we can see here on this sea surface temperature anomaly. So the anomaly is pretty much showing how much the temperature is varying from what is typical. So more of those yellows and orange and red shadings indicate that the temperatures are much higher than normal at this time of year. So it is going to be a very interesting couple of days ahead. And with that as well, eventually we could see some watches, maybe some tropical storm watches eventual hurricane watches could be posted for a couple of areas so we really just have to wait and see guys there's not a huge change compared to my last update video very early this morning but of course i'll be keeping you posted every step of the way in regards to this system so that's it for now and i do hope you found this update to be informative but if you have any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments below i'll get to you when i can and remember to always be weatherwise.